Hello and welcome to the Papare.com where we have a very special guest uh, joining us here today, the coach of uh, Zahira College, former EC Patana captain, former CRNFC captain, Sri Lanka number eight, Shamli Navas is uh, with us today. He's uh, had a heartbreaking season so far, come so close in so many games, ended up with two wins in the first round with the newly promoted Zahira College team. Uh, Shamli, thanks a lot for joining us. Yeah, welcome. Good to have you on board, but uh, tell us uh, at the moment in this mid-season break, how are you feeling as a coach in terms of the targets that you've set? Uh, yes, Shanak, actually I didn't like the long break uh, for our segment because we had to stay three weeks uh, and I would have loved a week break because uh, now uh, when we plan we just want to just go on every week with the games. But I think uh, boys also love the break so we'll have some fun activities and uh, get the focus of rugby for a little while then come back and uh, start uh, working hard again for uh, second round first game and I think the second round is getting tougher for us. You think it will get tough? It is. It is. And uh, Shamli, you've been with this team while they were in the B division, you won their promotion to the A division. Uh, what are you seeing different from that competition to this competition? Actually, Shanika, the, those two levels are, is, I think it's a two different levels. And uh, the spectator wise and uh, everything changes. I think 200% it's a different uh, area to concentrate. And I think boys adjusted really well from that B Division games. Actually, B Division games, there was no, not even 100 people coming and watching games. And there are few crowds, and now the crowds is coming in. And I think the cheering and their focus, keeping focus of the game plan. It's getting hard and uh, even some line-out calls, they complain we can't hear at the back. So I think uh, they adjusted really well in the first few games and uh, they loved it, I think. But uh, it's a big advancement on their part because I think they have not seen this much of uh, top rugby. And uh, it was a little bit of hard on few boys who just started rugby because the people who just played rugby for a little while from the junior levels, they, I think, coped very fast. But the newcomers, because in this team itself, there is about five, six boys who just started rugby and they didn't know what was Sri Lankan rugby about. But now I think they also has got the idea after the first round. And uh, we are looking forward to maintain uh, this performance uh, and get some wins actually. What have you done, uh, Shamli, to help them cope with that pressure? I mean, you've played at the highest levels, you know exactly uh, what that pressure yeah, means. I have been talking to the boy Shanaka about this pressure factor because even at the Wesley game, last minute penalty, everybody was telling like we should have uh, got a draw. But I think uh, they, this is uh, like you do it yourself and get the result and I think after the game uh, the team was uh, really gelled together because they realized at the end that one player is not going to win them the whole team has to win them the game so I think as a team they are gelling and uh, getting uh, closer and getting stronger so I think that's a very good sign for Zahira Rugby. Yeah, it is a great sign for Zahira Rugby and talking about Zahira Rugby as a whole, uh, Shamli, it's a team that has played A Division Rugby before. Uh, it was in the B Division for a long, uh, long time. You've produced some very good players, guys like Mushtaq, guys like Ishan Noor, uh, who have come through in recent times, and uh, Mohammed Sharif, who uh, started there as well. So you, you look at all these players and you, you've got the base for it. But are you surprised by how much everybody else is supporting Zahira now? Because Everyone supports their team and Zahira. It's it's really good now. Yeah, I think a uh, lot of uh, the crowd that was supporting other schools, I think uh, they didn't expect us to play on this uh, standard. And I think uh, we gave some uh, good runs to the top schools in our group. And uh, no one uh, expected uh, B Division school to come up and uh, give a good run for their money. I think that, I think, made us uh, popular and a lot of uh, other teams uh, wanted to cheer us because uh, the normal scenarios we would get trashed 50, 60 points. Even few Zahirians wanted me to <coughs> told me when we got promoted, just sir, don't let any team score 50 points against us. So those are the comments that I got from certain old boys. But I think uh, the team did really well. 
comparing because I think a recent example was DS playing last season and they were getting hammered by all the top teams. I think uh, we realized that before we came in and I think we worked a lot on our defensive patterns and uh, other structures so uh, it would be easy to score against us so we had those systems going in. You've got some uh, really interesting uh, strategies that you use to uh, make sure that you know teams don't breach your defense. Uh, how hard was that to, uh, to coach? Because I was speaking to Dilan and he said these boys will do anything you ask them to as their trainer. And have, have you enjoyed working with them? Yeah, actually I have enjoyed working with Zahira a lot because uh, Shanaka, uh, when you take on boys with this, uh, they, they are very motivated. But only thing is they didn't know much rugby. So I as a coach uh, had to work double the capacity that I could and work a lot with these boys and uh, make sure that they understood uh, what are required from each player. And actually I broke it down for simple units that each player was given a role, so that these are your roles and you have to work on these. And uh, going forward, I think uh, now when they are very com comfortable with their roles, I was pushing them to go and help the other guys with their roles also. So I think now we are having this buddy system, we call, we call it buddy system because you go and help your buddy after you lift a line out and if your buddy is struggling, you go and help your buddy. So I think that is coming up and I think uh, we can see a big change in the second round with that coming in. As a coach, though, Shamli, it must be fun for you to work with a motivated group where you only have to teach them rugby rather than working with a team who's played rugby and are not motivated. That's more difficult, isn't it? I think so because it was a little bit easy with these boys because they will do what I say on field and uh, they, they do not want, they don't want to try out other things. So certain going forward i think they will also have to try out new things in life and uh, start playing uh, some little bit of stylish rugby but for now i think they are sticking to the game plan and they are doing it 100 uh, percent correctly well you are playing some stylish rugby uh, shambhi are playing very positive rugby you've scored some great first phase tries as well that must make you happy yeah, i meant like uh, we don't run through from R22, we don't have ploys of running from R22, but we manage uh, to score a few tries from R22 because those are everything we have planned, those things, and they are just sticking to the plan. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good to see. What next in the next round? Uh, Shamli, you've got some big schools uh, coming up against you. Do you think it's going to get more difficult or a little easier? Yeah, for us, Shanaka, I think uh, uh, from the first round itself, we were only focusing in every week, we were focusing in this one team. So I think it was easy then focusing all the four teams at once. So I think we will st first take Isipatana game and I think the, we are doing our work on Isipatana and the boys even, they are now into like watching videos and they understand what are required from them uh, to beat a team that is playing the top brand of rugby so uh, boys themselves do their work and I also do my work so we all put together together and we make a plan. You've come so close uh, in uh, the first round to some wins against maybe Trinity, against St. Thomas's, uh, against Wesley. Uh, what do you, do you think you could have done anything different or would you have taken these results? Yes, I am actually happy with the results but I think uh, majority of uh, the support staff and the sponsors they wanted to win so i think uh, the rugby was actually the three games that we lost even the rugby was on the top first level i think the boys after the game even they were saying sir we don't know what to do hereafter but we were improving every game i think uh, the structure that the games were also was a, a advantage for us and uh, we were improving uh, game by game shanaka but I think uh, going forward, I think uh, now boys, I think, realize that they have to make uh, good performance to victories. So I think they are focusing on winning in the second round. Well, let's see whether you can get those wins, Shamli. We have no doubt you can. Thanks very much for joining us on the Papari. Congratulations okay. to you for your Thank performance you, so far and all the best. Thank you, Shamli. Thank you.